Although Mitsubishi has increased prices across the board for its Triton fleet in 2021, the popular Japanese Ute continues to represent excellent value for money. It also remains firmly entrenched in a solid third place in the local 4x4 Ute sales race, behind the Ford Ranger and Toyota Hilux. The previous top of the range dual cab 4x4 Triton was the GLS Premium, which has been discontinued and replaced by the automatic only 4x4 GSR variant. So, we decided to see how the second from top GLS measures up in an increasingly competitive market. Price and features does it represent good value for the price? What features does it come with? Our test vehicle is available with either 6-speed manual for a list price of $46,240 or 6-speed automatic transmission like our example for $48,490. It's also equipped with several Mitsubishi Genuine accessories, comprising a stainless steel front nudge bar with LED light bar, RRP $1,649, tow bar kit, RRP $1,198, and polished, load tub, sports bar, RRP $1,285. Combined, these add $4,132, which makes our test vehicle almost the same price as the top shelf GSR automatic at $52,740. Even so, without these accessories, the GLS offers a rich menu of standard equipment. There's keyless entry to a nicely detailed interior with premium fabric seat trim, leather-bound steering wheel, gear shift and handbrake plus height and reach adjustable steering column. There's also dual-zone climate control, rear privacy glass, multiple 12-volt and USB connections, including two USB ports for rear seat passengers, quality six-speaker infotainment system with 7.0-inch touchscreen, Android Auto, Apple CarPlay and more. External detailing includes chrome door handles and chrome mirrors with integral heating and turn indicators, 18-inch alloys with 265-60 R18 tires, and a full-size spare, side steps, rear step bumper, load tub liner, LED dusk sensing headlights DRLs with halogen fog lights, rain sensing wipers, reversing camera and rear diff lock, to name a few. It's remarkable how much value Mitsubishi stuffs into a quality Japanese Ute for less than $50k. The Triton's sharp steering response and excellent agility owes much to its relatively short 3,000mm wheelbase, which combined with a compact 11.8m turning circle and relatively narrow 1,815mm width, makes it easy to maneuver in all conditions, from tight inner city streets and shopping center car parks, to narrow bush tracks and rugged work sites. However, its expansive 5,303mm overall length is only 123mm shorter than a Ford Ranger equivalent, even though the Triton requires a conspicuously long rear overhang to achieve it. There are big grab handles on the A and B pillars to assist in climbing aboard. The Triton's slender width is most noticeable in the cabin, which is cozy but not uncomfortable for front seat occupants, as even tall adults can find comfortable seating positions. The rear seat, though, is particularly squeezy for three adults, so for any trips longer than local commutes, we'd recommended a maximum of two adults in the rear stalls. By contrast, we're big fans of the slot-type air circulation vents in the rear roof lining. These are superior to center console-mounted vents in directing cooling air to the faces of rear seat passengers, who also have access to their own fan speed dial to control the level of cooling. Engine and transmission What are the key stats for the engine and transmission? The 4N15 Mivec did intercooled four-cylinder turbo diesel, has excellent refinement, robust reliability and willing performance that belies its relatively small 2.4-liter displacement. It produces 133 kilowatts at 3,500 rpm and 430 Nm of torque at 2,500 rpm, yet ample pulling power from as low as 1,500 rpm showcases its flexibility. The equally refined 6-speed torque converter automatic has overdriven 5th and 6th ratios for economical highway cruising and a manual shift mode using either the console shift or steering wheel paddle shifters. We also like the versatility of Mitsubishi's Super Select 4WD2 system, controlled by a console dial that offers a choice of high-range 2WD, 2H, 
high range full time on 4H, which is great for icy or muddy roads, center diff lock, 4H LC, and center diff lock low range, 4L LC. The 2.561 low range reduction, combined with a choice of four specific off road drive modes and a rear diff lock, makes the Triton a well equipped and capable all terrain vehicle. Fuel consumption. How much fuel does it consume? Mitsubishi claims a combined average of 8.6L 100 km, but the dash display was showing 9.2L when we stopped to refill the 75-liter tank after 321 km of testing, which included more than a third of that distance with a near-maximum payload. Our own figure, calculated from fuel Boser and trip meter readings, was close at 9.4 liters. Needless to say, any 4x4 dual cab ute weighing 2 tons that can return single-digit economy in the real world gets a big tick from us, because in the Triton's case you could expect a realistic driving range of almost 800 km practicality. How practical is the space inside? The 900 kg payload rating is what remains after you deduct the GLS's 2000 kg curb weight from its 2900 kg GVM. It's also rated to tow up to 3,100 kg of brake trailer, and to do that you only need to reduce the maximum payload by 115 kg to avoid exceeding the 5,885 kg GCM, or the most you can legally carry and tow at the same time. That's a practical compromise. The fully lined load tub, with six anchorage points, has internal dimensions of 1,520 mm length, 1,470 mm width, and 475 mm depth. With 1,085 mm between the rear wheel housings, it will easily take a Euro 1200 x 800 mm pallet, but not a standard 1,165 mm square Aussie pallet.